Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the first video of 2024. Well, not the first video, but the first vlog. And in this vlog, it is, uh, well, not today, but this year marks like my five year anniversary of being, or being, identifying as a photographer. So I'm going out to meet a friend. She was really the first person I ever photographed. And we're gonna go out and take some photos five years on and see how, see how we've, you know, improved. Hopefully, fingers crossed, improved. <laughs> In photography, so we're gonna do that today, and you got you're gonna come along with me. So that's that's how that's that, that's it that's it today. What are you doing? <laughs> I make vlogs. This is behind the scenes behind, stuff. Yeah, behind the scenes. Yeah. That's what that's what happens. All right, this is Erin. She's uh, I think you were the first person I ever photographed. Yeah. So five years later, we're doing it again. Seeing seeing if I got better. I hope I got better. I so. I got the um you know those um like the memory thing that comes up on like, your phone and stuff. Yeah. I got the memory thing like oh on this day five oh, years ago. Oh, I'm shit. like I'm like dude I was such a bad photographer <laughs> and we liked them oh. at the time. But now. I thought they were great. It's the first photo shoot I've ever had. But no, it just breaks it all up, makes it look nicer. That is crazy. Yeah. Not yeah, us girls have a lot of tips and tricks up our sleeves. Yeah, I just put wax in. And that, that's what yeah, I do. I washed it all this morning and then I put cow cream in, I scrunched mousse in, I let it air dry, diffused it, and now I'm putting hairspray in. Now we're good to go. <laughs> I just put wax. <laughs> I didn't even wash my hair, I just had a shower and I put wax in it straight yeah. after. I know, I feel like we're just a bit more efficient, guys. <laughs> it was so foggy before. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's, 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 it, it stopped being foggy, so it's not as. It's not, it's not, not, not as foggy, which is great, but now the lighting's super harsh and bleh, it's a whole thing. But alas, I will find a way to make it work. Let's go up here. I'm not vlogging on the camera anymore, so we're using this tiny little camera. Such a small little thing. And then I'll be able to also just magnetize it to my chest. Anyway, I'm gonna take the photos now. Uh, hopefully they turn out fine. How'd that go? Good. Did you Got have fun? Good snaps. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, that's good. Wipe some of them. That's good because we <laughs> terrible or very awkward. It was like, how'd that go? And you're just like terrible. Yep. Hated you, all of them. You I got sucked. worse. <laughs> just absolutely horrendous. <laughs> right, cool. All right. So um, gonna head home and review the photos, and I'll compare it to the photos we took like five years ago, and then like that one Elven shoot we did. <laughs> Alright, we can ignore that one. Oh, do you want me to ignore that one? Yeah. Okay, I'll ignore, ignore that one. And we'll just focus on like, the five year <laughs> progression. And hopefully you'll see, I became a better photographer. Fingers Maybe. crossed. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so welcome back to the office. The, 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 uh, it's not my office, it's a, it's a bedroom. I'll be honest, my bed's right behind me. But welcome back to where we're gonna review the photos. So, so like I said before, 2024 actually marks the, the five year Marks the anniversary of me wanting to go and take photography somewhat, somewhat seriously. And I guess I can you know, tell the story of how I got into photography. Uh, my dad bought me a camera for my 18th birthday. And for the most part, I mean, it was a cool gift. I was like, yeah, sick, cool, camera. But I was more into drumming. I was more into dance. I was more into acting. I was more into DJing and mixing and music production and all of these. Uh, uh, photography and filmmaking was like, ah, it's, it's kind of cool, but really, the filmmaking and the photography is how I'm going to showcase my dance, my acting, my my amazing <laughs> acting chops. Um, it wasn't so much something I had an interest in in itself. I was like, oh yeah, you know, filmmaking, photography, people would like that, I guess. But I'm more interested in acting. I'm more interested in the dance. And filmmaking was just a, a medium to be able to express that. And, you know, five years later, here we are on YouTube. And you know, five years later, here I am, taking it a lot more seriously than I took acting, a lot more seriously than I took dance. It's just, I don't even know how we got here. Like I was saying to Erin, the, the phone, it, it pinged me. It was like, yo, you've got memories. Uh, five years ago today, it was when you uh, took these photos. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's been five years since 
five years since Aaron and I did that photo shoot where it was just for fun. It was like, oh, let's go take some photos uh, for a new camera. And we were like, oh, let's take some photos. And we're going to review, <laughs> review those photos that we took five years ago and review the photos that we took five days ago because it's, it's been a bit of time. I Look, I'll be honest. We're going to review the old photos, see how hopefully I've improved over the five years of experience and uh, what I've learned and what, I, what I, guess, I guess any tips I could give people who may be just starting out in photography, just starting out in filmmaking and just tell them, you know, show them that this is where I started, like, because I'm being honest, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I looked at some of those photos and I was like, oh, no thank you, not, not for me. All right, so here are the photos you can see that we took five years ago. Uh, if you look, look at the date stamp, there it is, 17th of December, 2018. So, you know, a little bit over five years now, but pretty much five years uh, being January 2024. Uh, look, I'll be honest, we liked these photos at the time and I'm going to critique them. I'm gonna doodle all over the photos and show you like what I like, what I don't like, and then we'll see what has improved, hopefully, you know, and we'll see what's improved, hopefully, in the five years. Let's, let me just first point out that you'll probably notice that a lot of these photos are very, very dim. And then there's every now and then there's like this super vibrant photo. That's because I didn't know how to edit. <laughs> the camera I had was a Nikon P900, which didn't shoot raw photos. And I had no idea what raw versus JPEG was. Uh, looking back on it now, I'm like, ah, really wish I you know, shot raw, but the camera didn't shoot raw. So it's like, oh, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, but this was all in JPEG. So that's why the image does if it seem to fall apart, especially in the colors and the highlights, it just doesn't hold up as well. But you know, again, five years on, with upgraded cameras, like right now, shooting on the Canon R5, I have a Canon R6, I have an R, I have a Fujifilm X-T2 that I shoot on in RAW, so, and I now know how to use Lightroom and Photoshop, how to make all these things better. So, let's uh, let's talk about this photo. This photo, I'm not too, I'm not too mad about. As you can see on this photo here, it's, it's not the worst. Like, we've got, in all honesty, you've got like your rule of thirds in this photo, so you've got like, Aaron on this rule of third, negative space here, and then you've got your second line here, roughly, and then your other line there. Like, on, in all honesty, rule of thirds, composition-wise, this photo isn't terrible. The one thing I'm not so, you know, happy about on this photo is the fact that I'm cutting off her toes. Like, she was on her tippy toes, and they're being cut off. So I'm not, I'm not too happy about that. In all honesty, I'm just not happy that I've cut off her toes all the way at the bottom here. Like you can kind of see her crouching, but yeah, it's it's not, look. Had I taken this again, I would have gone down lower with the camera and made sure to capture everything. I'm also not a fan of the fact that it's it's a wide angle shot. Like I, I'll be honest, I don't shoot portraits wide angle anymore. Like the widest I'll go is probably 35 unless it's like a group shot. But even then I try and squeeze it all into a 35. Now I'd much rather, do a tighter shot, maybe maybe just head head shot and just do rule of thirds this way. And we'll hopefully, you know, have a much better lens on here, have some more compression on this to give it more blown out background because right now it looks like it could have been taken on my phone. But as we see here, Nikon Coolpix P900, 16 megapixel ISO 100. Oh, this was 70 mils. Wow, I mean, that just goes to show how small that sensor was. Let's, uh, let's continue, see see some other photos. This photo is not terrible. Um, it's not great either. Like you've got all of this negative space. So what I'm not such a fan of is all of this negative space. There's so much negative space and not negative space isn't bad. Like, you know, for example, you can utilize negative space in a way. So for example, you could like say put text here and like have an article if this was like a magazine editorial but it's also a landscape photo so i'm like oh, that's a bit weird um, i'm like not the biggest fan of all the negative space i'm also not a fan how there's just a giant tree kind of coming out from behind her you can you know see that tree there not a big fan of this one either <laughs> these aren't good i'll be honest ellen was really happy with them and i'm like looking back now i'm like oh really you're happy with these Wow, okay. <laughs> As you can see right there, I just I just pumped the saturation essentially. Like I went, I took that saturation slide and just whoop, all the way up basically. And it's, you can see that. This one I like actually. I actually like this photo still. It's it's good, good use of rule of thirds. You've got enough separation from the background. Uh, what was this shot on? This was shot on apparently 220 mil. So much, 
Um, but yeah, this photo here, much happier with this photo actually. She's talking off into the negative space. She's li lined up on that left rule of third. I guess I'm just talking left rule of third person. And because I shot it at 200 mil, now the compression on this photo is a lot better, really makes it separate from the background. So, you know, they're not all bad. They're not all terrible. Yeah, I mean, spoke too soon. Not terrible, not great either. It's not terrible, yeah, you know, it's still World of Search, like same thing, looking off the negative space. Ah, oh, look at those blown out highlights. <laughs> Again, shot on JPEG, you can just see all those highlights just being blown out. I was clearly exposing for the shadow on her face. You can see the fall off on her face there. Yeah, <laughs> that's a mistake I don't make anymore. Oh look, I, I, I corrected myself. Uh, really brought that down. You don't, don't have blown out highlights, that's cool. That, that's okay, I'm, I'm okay with these. All right, let's go see the uh, most recent shoot. First things first, let's, uh, let's comment about the lens. Five years later, you know, you buy a new camera, you buy a new lens, you learn what different lenses are. This was shot on the 50mm, 50mm 1.4 and you can see the separation that this lens gives compared to say the the p900 with its tiny sensor and it's not the greatest aperture range but again you know first camera now it's like wow also i would like to point out the colors i did edit this in lightroom so you can see that the color the greens are like a bit more muted it's a bit more softer i also learned to shoot in raw which is which is amazing because i get a lot more flexibility over the photos now so that's that's good to see. <laughs> no, that's cool. I, I, I really do like this photo. Um, I think, yeah, it's a great photo. The wind just happened to pick up and her dress swayed a little bit in the opposite direction she was facing, which is, I think, just really nice touch. And it's good to see that my composition's gone a lot better. You've got breathing room at the top, bottom sides, her feet aren't getting cut off, her head's not getting cut off. I like it. <laughs> got a nice got in tighter again slightly off to the right all of those she's not completely centered here um, and she's still technically looking off into negative space I'll be honest the photos were more creative with the p900 because I guess you get complacent when you get some nice gear You're like oh yeah 50 mil 7200 f2.8 and you just focus on composing a an objectively visually appealing image opposed to getting creative with the limitations you have with your camera it's it's one of those sort of things all right, let's see. Here's a fun one. Just there, there, there's my there's Erin. There she is. Just big smiles all round. You're getting a nice tight detailed shot of the tattoo. Uh, two versions: the black and white in color. Because sometimes I just I just can't decide on black and white or color, and I and I deliver both. This was shot with a speed light and the 70 to 200, so you can see she's actually being illuminated by the speed light because she was covered basically in a bit of shadow and I was like I don't like that shadow so I got a speed light just put it on the camera fired it and it just used it as a field light to fill in the shadows when she was standing here under the trees and as you can see definitely shot on a much tighter lens uh, this was the 70 to 200 uh, f2.8 so you can see the compression on the lens and there's a lot of headroom in fact if there was anything I could nitpick I guess it would be the headroom I would actually probably recompose but I wanted to leave it up top in case you know Instagram crops and that sort of stuff so there we are probably punched out to 70 you can still see the fill flash doing its job filling in the shadow caused by because it was, it was high noon like the sun was directly above us so had to do something about that shadow nice shot with her facing away and you can see that she's framed up uh, with the tree off to the side not right in front of her, not right behind her, it's sticking out, it's off to the side, framing her up, which I think is, you know, improvement. <laughs> okay, so something I learned in my five years is using uh, foreground elements, background elements, using layers to separate and really showcase, showcase the, the subject. So here you can see, I've, I've, I'm basically hiding behind a bush, shooting towards Erin. You can actually see the bush in front of the lens in between me and Erin and then all the background as well. The, the leaves in front are in the leaves in front are out of focus, the leaves, the flowers behind her are out of focus, 
it all comes together to help frame Aaron up. It comes together to help create layers. So you've got your foreground layer and your background layer, and you've got Aaron in that middle layer being separated and highlighted using the foreground and background layer. All right, and we're back to the 50 where we're getting a nice, nice shot here again. Learn how to mask. You can actually probably see a little bit of. Oh no, did a really good job masking this. It's not, it's not too bad. It's not worst I've, I've done i've taken worse photos evidently okay and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys learned that you are not going to be your best at the beginning like even i sucked five years ago but in the five years i learned how to take a lot better photos by using better composition by not by not cutting off any limbs by using an external speed light to be able to use it as a fill flash being able to edit properly shoot raw using different elements in the foreground the background to create layers and use framing and, and to make more visually appealing portraits and i think that's the biggest thing to take away is that you are not going to be the best you are at anything whether it's photography or a sport or video games or you know, your new job you're not gonna be the best right away because that's just ridiculous it's going to take time to build up the skills learn different techniques learn how to shoot raw how to compose properly without cutting off limbs cutting off the head to use the foreground elements use the background elements use it to frame things up create layers create masks and how to edit properly it's it's all a learning game it's it's all just about learning the different techniques to help you become a better photographer to you to become better at whatever it is you are endeavoring in so that's it for me guys i thought it would be fun to take a trip down memory lane maybe we'll make more videos just like this critiquing my old work i'm probably due for uh looking back on my old youtube videos at this point like that's something that's something we can do like go watch some old youtube videos and see just ah how far we've come again in like five five years I, i've been doing youtube a bit longer ah, i digress have a good morning evening night and i'll see you in the next video 25 minutes dude i was gonna i was for sure hoping i'll be like 15.